Hey everybody, this is Strange to Society, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of K. Okay, last week we saved some rabbits and visited a village, uh, but now there's Tack himself. Feline freak, wax to you, cat. Get him, boys. You must be Tack. Listen. Don't bother me, Catnip West. We're after that pesky dragon. I need six men or seven. No, no, six will do. I'm coming for you, you dirty rat. Okay, so Tack ran off and he's gonna go get the dragon. Uh, so we need to make sure, so we need to beat these guys up and then get what we need so that we can go get to the dragon area ourselves. Because, uh, as you notice from the cutscene, the bridge, uh, is down. So we need to find our way around, and I just died. That's awesome. Okay! Uh, we're skipping that scene. Okay, but now I have full health, so let's try this again. Okay. Anyway, so we gotta beat these guys up and then get over and to get, uh, uh, go find the dragon. Yeah, that's what we gotta do. Before we find the dragon, we need to get some more relics that will allow us to get to him by destroying the village. So, uh, anyway. That. That. Any others? Anybody else? Anyone want to take us on? No? Okay. Okay, so what we gotta do now is uh, we have some new doors open to us. And, uh, hold on, let me hit the save. Okay, checkpoint, there we go. Always want to do that. Now, uh, there were some more hidden areas uh, in the trees here, so we need to want to go take care of that. But we already activated that cat statue. And, uh, well, let's just go this way. Looks like we've got enough place to go. And, uh, okay, so let's see. We have a bug around here in the water. And, uh, nice path. Stay away from it. Okay, there we go. Actually, that's good because now we have the combo. Not every pot will have stuff inside of that, so. Uh, you're actually going to have lots of pot, pots. Do not do that. Do not. Uh, hit the fish that are jumping across, they will mess you up and may even hurt you. Uh, yeah. Uh, they will, the fish will hurt you if they hit you. So, area like that, you gotta be quick. Ah, okay. Not fall in the water and mess up. Yep, swamp. Dad, go! I swear. Some of these areas are really hard to get to without getting hurt, because they end up throwing a lot of stuff at you. But we made it over here. And uh, we need to ride this flower uh, over here and get close to that. Uh, whenever you get on a skinny thing like that, you actually uh, kind of lock on a little bit, uh, so he will balance on it, which is very nice and very useful, uh, so you don't have to be completely perfect to get across here. So, and a lot of times you'll have the crystals that are showing you the good path to take. Okay, you want to pay attention in some of these areas though too, because there will be uh, uh, bombable walls uh, that you can break open to get more secrets. And hey, more rats to fight. Dragon statue off limits the cat. Give up. You never beat a strong, magic, powerful army! Stop blubbering, cheese breath. Draw your weapons and fight like rodents. You vermin are even worthy of the name. Hey! Okay, here we go. Um... Let's see. I want to try and show off some more. Okay. Ah! Ah! Okay. I tried to do some magic, but he attacked me. I was afraid that was going to happen. Okay, so let's try that again. Um, oh, no, uh, where am I? Am I over here? Okay, so I'm over here. Which is good. At least the checkpoints are very generous most of the time. So, let's skip that. Okay. 
Okay, and your magic has a decent range, so you can attack quite a number of uh, rats. Now, if you die and come back, uh, the rats that you killed will no longer give you money. So you cannot, because you keep all, if you die and get and respawn, you will keep the money that you had. You will lose points, I think, but you keep the money that you had. Um, so if you kill an enemy again, you will not get more money from that same enemy. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, as I was saying before, there are vulnerable walls here. So look around and see if there's any walls that look different. And since I saved two bombs, I'm going to go ahead and use one right there. And come in here and, oh, we have a rescue. Oh, my aching bones. Those barbarous rats tortured me until I told them all I knew about Torchy, our paladin dragon. Oh, I need to make my way home now for some first aid. Okay. Alright, so now we can go over here. And uh, there's a dragon statue here, and it is missing an eye. And I got a bomb back. It's awesome. Okay, there's another bomb. I want to say there's another bombable wall back here, but I could be wrong. Um, but the thing is, if there's, if you need bombs, it will definitely give you bombs uh, close by. Okay, so yeah, here's another bombable wall. So let's go ahead and blow that one up. And I think that actually gives us a shortcut back. So let me go over here, pick up that bomb, because it shouldn't have disappeared. Or, no, oh, it did disappear. Darn it. Okay. Well, either way, we need to blow that open. But here's the dragon. We have a ruby. So we can activate this dragon statue by replacing the eye. And by doing that, a piece of the bridge will magically assemble itself. Okay, I don't know how that works, but I'll take it. Okay, so that's where we rescued the guy. Um... Okay, so we some bugs here. What we can do, open up the chest, get a health potion. Very nice, very useful. Okay. Um, okay, so we have another small puzzle here. Um, and why... Okay, my combo ran out. That's what the problem was. Okay. Oh, plants. Hiding in the tall bushes. Okay. I'm gonna take care of that. Thank you. Here. Oh, now you are. Oh, I was supposed to come at it from the other side, I guess. Okay. I don't know. Sometimes some of these are weird. But, uh, that, oh, okay, so that gave us the combo that allowed us to do that, which gave us a bridge, which made stuff easier. Okay. We also hit a checkpoint, which restored our health. So now we can use this bridge that we just made that is crumbling. Uh to fall into the water. Okay, well, whatever, at least we are on our way back. But uh, now we can use this cover path to make that a little bit easier. Okay, by doing this, we can access up here and rescue someone else. I have no luck, you know. Just when I arrived at the hair tree, those scurvy rats caged me again. But I'm not giving up. Hope I don't need you again. Okay, so we actually rescued that guy more than once. That's fun. And hey, look at over there. There's a cat statue. So let's hop on the zip line and activate that cat statue. That will raise another pillar. Getting us ever closer to that secret that's up there. Okay. And also, that allowed us to skip a lot of these jumping fish, which I am very grateful for. Okay. So we finished that area, we can move on to the next area. We have a few more minutes before I want to close this. And we have more rats to fight, so let's go ahead and take care of those. Um, there is a lot of fighting in this game, and it is nice because they break it up. Um, with the puzzles and the platforming in between the fighting. There's, I think there's like maybe two areas where the fighting does get overdone a little bit, uh, for my taste, but, uh, 
Okay, and you will, and these guys aren't dropping points, so these are the same rats I fought before, which means they continue to respawn every time I come into this area, so that's kind of annoying. If we start running into too many situations like that, I think I'm going to uh, cut those fights out because there's nothing new. So, for instance, when I come back here again and have to do that fight again, I'll just cut it out. Um, but otherwise, whenever we... Yeah, that's what I'll do. Yeah, I'll do it that way. Okay, um, now that we... Let's see, which way we came... Okay, so we went... We came from that tree. And that's the way to drag in this thing. Okay. We actually, we need to enter the red cave. Okay, so we need to get the last two rubies, and we can do that... Uh, at the rat camp, and that'll allow us to activate our last two dragon statues. Now, unlike normal fights, it looks like there's just rats along the path here. So we can take care of these guys a little bit easier. Okay, get this. And once again, I'm sorry just for my button mashing fighting style. It's just, it's... It's easy for me, and this game really helps. Or really doesn't, you know, encourage me to go a different way. I guess that's the best way to say it. I guess. I don't know. Anyway, let's take this left path here. And I've got... Uh, I've got another minute or two. Uh, actually... Yeah, I'm gonna go in here, and there's gonna be another fight, and uh, that'll be the last thing I do. So let's do that. Up. A cat. Nice uniform. I hope for your sake it's tear resistant. Okay, so now we're in the main part of the camp, so we do have a few more rats to fight. Um, it will come out in waves, so keep that in mind. Um, and eventually, I'm not sure if we're going to do it in this camp yet or not. But, uh, okay, he hit me. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, the nice thing is, is they do have some of these pots around, and some of them do have hearts, so if you're starting to run low on health, but you don't have a health potion or you don't want to use it yet, uh, you can go after the pots, and uh, they might uh, be able to kill you. So, so I can go after the pots right now and heal them. Three marks that I am currently doing. Oh, yeah, here's a gorilla. Okay. Me. Stupid rats. Can't beat a mangy cat. But don't worry. Gorillas know how to squash little kitty. Okay, the gorilla can be annoying, but uh, if you use your uh, combo uh, attacks, they. Um, you can take care of them, and part of the reason why they're so annoying is because they do have a wide attack range. Uh, so they'll they'll swing like axes and hammers and uh, get a good distance from it. So, um, oh, I'm trying to find some help here. All right, good, good. And. Uh, this. Okay, so we got rid of him, so I got this rat here. Alright, doing good. Is that it? That was it. Okay, so that's the end of that fight. Uh, that... Lost pet. What is back there? Okay, hold on. Anyway, I think I'm going to end the video here. Uh, because it looks like I'm right around that time. Let me, just, let me search the rest of these pots, get some health back. Can. Okay. So, anyway. Oh, and some pot, sometimes pots will contain bugs, which are annoying. But they do help bring a combo, so they can be useful at the same time. Now, there's something. That's another health potion. Uh, okay. Let me use. Yeah, okay, so that's... So now I've got the health potions. Bombable walls, I don't see any bombable walls. 
So yeah, so I'll enter this place and see what's back here in the next video. Once again, I hope you guys are enjoying. This has been Strange Society. And uh, if you like, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.